Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Pip Box unboxing for this month. So this is the July box. I think they've, yeah, the box looks different this month. It's been like printed on here. I don't know if you can see, but it's all pretty and pink. And I have had a peek in here, so I do know what the, what the products are, but I haven't tried a lot of the things. I thought I could try them on camera now, even though I've already got a full face of makeup. Hmm, did not think this through. <laughs> I've done one unboxing of this before I'll leave all the details for this box down below if you're interested. Last month I was really impressed and I think this month I'm also impressed. This is what it opens up like. I did mention last month but I like how they only have a bit of tissue. You know, you don't need the styrofoam, you don't need the plastic, just a little bit of tissue. You can reuse this, you can wrap a present in this. You get discount codes for the brands that are featured each month. I'm just going to use this as a fan because it's 35 degrees in London today. 35 degrees Celsius. But anyway, let's get straight on into it. So the first thing in the box is this. And we got a product from this brand last month as well. These are eyelashes. Reusable eyelashes, what are they called? Fake eyelashes, that's it. I'm not a fake eyelash fan, I'm not going to lie. This doesn't really do it for me. I will give these a go for an event or something. But, yeah, I don't really wear fake eyelashes. I just feel like they're too much faff. But I think these are quite nice. Like, they're subtly shaped. It says they're supposed to be for almond shape eyes. I don't know what shape eyes I have. Also, if you're looking at my hand and thinking I'm bruised, it's blueberry. <laughs> it's not a bruise, it's blueberry. But that's the first product, and this retails for £6. Next in the box is this, and this is a BB powder. I've never tried a BB powder before, I have to say. I've tried a BB cream, and I've tried powder. BB powder? Never tried, I have to say. But this is by the brand Peony, and we used to get this brand in our Nourish Beauty boxes, um, which are another subscription box based in the US, whereas this one is based in the UK. So that's quite cool that they, they've included this. I've got the shade Light. I don't know if they sent everybody the shade Light, or if it's like a universal shade. But this is what the packaging looks like. Excuse the blueberry fingers. <laughs> and I'm actually going to put some of this on now, on top of my makeup. Let me grab a brush. Okay, so I've got two size brushes because I'm not sure which one I'm going to need. This one is by Antonym. It's their blush brush, I think. And this is the Essence Eye Blender brush. So I'm going to take the smaller one. The sieve doesn't work very well. I don't really rate this packaging. For £16.99, it's not the best packaging in the world. That's the shade if you're interested. It says, a talc-free weightless BB powder that enables you to create a lustrous, flawless finish while protecting your skin with broad spectrum SPF. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool, so it's got titanium dioxide in, mm, and then it's got a chemical sunscreen in. Okay, let's give it a go. I really like that. It's very much a blurring powder. You know those powders that kind of look like, when you put them on, they kind of look like you've got a filter on your face. That's what this seems to be doing to me. Um, I can see myself using this as to, as a product to set my face, so to add a bit more coverage and to actually set my makeup. Yeah, very happy with that, and that's £16.99. So yeah, not cheap. Um, another product that isn't cheap is this, and this is by Luritzi, again, a brand that I'd only known through subscription boxes. Uh, we got this, we got an eyeshadow palette from them last month, which I've been using a lot this month. So yeah, I have high hopes for this. It's a paraben-free eye pencil, and it's in the shade black, so I'm guessing it's just a coal pencil. Okay, cool, it's a wooden pencil. I definitely prefer wooden pencils to, what's the other kind? Like retractable pencils? Okay, I can't really use this because I've already got liquid liner on. I do love a coal pencil. These used to be like my favorite makeup product ever. I would just wear a coal pencil no mascara and it didn't look great but yeah so i'm very happy with this actually a lot of my cold pencils are very old now and they've gone a bit sort of sticky and janky and gross so yeah i'm very happy to have this i actually needed one in my life so that's great and then the next product in the box i actually already have this is the green people natural tan accelerator so it's basically svf 15 and it's supposed to accelerate your tan as well and this has got zinc oxide in if i remember correctly i think that's the active ingredient god this is very small I can't really read this. Oh no, I can wait. Oh no, it's got titanium dioxide. <laughs> Just get your microscope, microscope, telescope out. Um, but yes, I really like this. I love the. I've got the bigger version, and I really like it. So it's nice to have a little handy mini version. I really like Green People as well. They've got lots of organic and vegan products. And the last product in the box is this, and this is the original makeup eraser sample interesting so obviously i haven't opened this i don't really know what it is is it a cloth actually if it's what i think it is i might already have something very similar to this because it says number one reusable makeup removal system in the world i don't know how i calculated that america's favorite makeup removal system since 2013 
over 2 million happy customers. Wow, this is soft. Okay, wait, let me get my thing that I thought this was gonna be like. One moment. Okay, so this is what I thought it was gonna be like. This is by the brand Tissue, and it's a reusable makeup wipe, so you're supposed to be able to take your makeup off without any cleansing oil, without any micellar water, by just using this. As you can see, I've used it a lot. I mean, it kind of works. If you wear a really light base, and not a lot of eye makeup, it does work, but it's just a little bit rough. Like, it's not rough, but it almost tugs on the skin a bit, and I suppose it has to to get the makeup off, but yeah, this is definitely a lot softer. Obviously, time will tell if it stays soft, but I've never heard of this brand before. Have you heard of Makeup Eraser? It's supposed to last three to five years, and obviously it's supposed to be eco-friendly as well, because it saves makeup wipes and cotton pads going to landfill. It feels like a bed throw or something, or a Furby. Does anyone remember Furbies? Okay, I'm going to use this tonight and see if it works. I will write in the down bar if it works or not because obviously I can't really use this on camera because I've just done a face of makeup and it would be a complete and utter waste. But yes, that's this month's box. I love the pit box. I didn't know what to expect. This is only my second month, so last month I really liked it, but sometimes with subscription boxes they can vary from month to month. So far I'm highly impressed by the stuff they give. I think that the products are interesting, they're a bit different and they're varied as well. I would highly recommend the Pip Box, like wholeheartedly I would recommend it to a friend. So yes, I'm really happy. I hope you're really happy. I hope you're having a cracking day and if you like cruelty free and vegan stuff then maybe subscribe and give this video a like if you want to and hopefully I shall catch you in my next one. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,